I was presenting about Monotouch and the greener pastures for c -Sharp developers at, uh, in New York a few weeks ago. And I built a little Insta, Insta paper-like application uh, uh, for two reasons. One, because I had been listening to a lot of Enya, and two, because, uh, uh, because they had just sold uh, their company for a billion dollars to Facebook. So I figured, how can I get into that gravy train myself? So um, I figured I would teach the audience how to use Monotouch to build uh, UC Sharp to build their app for um, for iOS. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take we're gonna use a couple of APIs from uh, from iOS. One is Core Match, which performs uh, hardware accelerated um, uh, image rendering and effects, which is what Insta uh, Instagram uses. And we're also gonna use the Twitter APIs. Um, and we're using this library called Monotouch Dialog that I wrote to simplify the development of UIs. It's just for quick UIs, just uh, quick um, uh, UIs that you can build fast. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create the main UI for my app by assigning to the root view controller. Uh, if you don't do that, uh, you'll, you'll get an error from the system telling you need to assign this property. So I'm going to create an element here. I'm going to call this app Insta Emotion. Um, again, we wanted to fit, sit with the theme of uh, emotions and any and everything. Now we're gonna create two sections in this app. Um, the first, it's gonna be uh, where the actions are. I'm gonna add a little preview here. So the first section is gonna be called, uh, let's call it my life, my life. Yeah, that's good. And then we're gonna add here a button uh, that says uh, capture a moment. And, uh, just gonna hook that up to the method capture. Let me write the method capture here for you. Wait, capture, and we're gonna do something with this later. And then we're gonna want to have a preview here. And for the preview, we're gonna use a built-in uh, um, view from iOS called the uh, UI image view. So we're gonna call this a preview, and we'll contain a preview of the image. Uh, actually, let's call that a moment instead. And. Um, we're gonna need system drawing so we can uh, create those moments. So moment is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a UI image view. And uh, the bounds of this thing are gonna be, um, let's make it square. Um, so let's, do that, uh, let's make that an offset of 10, 280 and 280. That looks very Instagram-ish. So it's gonna be offset of 10 pixels and then 280 by 280. And uh, then we're going to add the preview here, so it's going to be a UI view element of, uh, of uh, with no caption, the moment, and uh, transparent. What is that? Uh, yeah, we don't want transparency here. Uh, maybe we will. We'll, we'll decide later. So this is a very simple UI right now. Uh, when I click, it's going to call the capture moment, um, and uh, we need to do something there. Let's just run it to see what this looks like for now. button there doesn't do anything right now and this is where my preview is gonna go so let's fill this out for the picker we're gonna use the iOS uh, UI image picker controller uh, actually we need to install this one and then uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna connect to this uh, method so we're gonna do uh, finish picking media this is a new API in um, in the iOS in iOS 5 and uh, basically this is a callback that is invoked whenever the user has picked the media. Um, so in the callback, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna set the moment, uh, the image of the moment to the one of the arguments that is passed. And in this case, is the variable E. These are the event arguments. And uh, here you can see all the properties that we get passed. We get a rectangle for the cropping region, uh, the edited image, the uh, a dictionary with information, the media type, the URL, the original image. We're just gonna use the original image. So basically, whenever the user selects a picture uh, from the uh, picker, um, we'll get the, we'll get that thing uh, in there. So let's now uh, present this to the user. Uh, we forget the control, but now we need to present to the user. So let's say window root view controller present model view controller, and uh, let's pass this. And we want it animated because that really brings the valuation of the company up. The attention to detail, uh, passing through to this value will take care of it. So that's already there, a couple million dollars. So when I capture a moment and, uh, and I find this cat, um, it, uh, it selects it. Oh, but it's not going away. We have a bug. 
So it's being selected. Uh, if I set a breakpoint here, uh, you can see that it's actually being selected, but we're not dismissing the image. And you can actually see it here. Uh, so it's already set. So let's dismiss that. Uh, let's dismiss that control. So we're going to say picker dot dismiss uh, model v controller animated again. We want to have that animated so that it adds to the to the quality of the of the wrap. So let's capture this moment. Picker cat and then and the cat is being uh, picked and the image is uh, returned. So let's do a couple of things with this thing. First off, um, this is not really very nice. This is, uh, I mean, that's just your standard. That is really your standard cat. It has no emotion. We're not gonna get any money from Facebook this way. So what we need to do now is uh, uh, is use core animation for some uh, hardware acceleration magic. And I don't remember the, the API. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and cheat and use the documentation browser to find out how to use the filters. So here's the CI filter class. I just typed this and, and there's a little sample here that says how to use the sepia filter. Uh, so sepia is really, really what you want in these kind of situations. Um, so, um, so we're just gonna, so we're just gonna cut and paste that sample. I'm gonna say that my image is actually a, um, that my image is actually a CGI image from image from CGI image, and I'm gonna take the the original image that was passed. And uh, actually, I want the CG image, so I need to convert. I basically need to extract the core graphics image into the uh, and and turn it into an image that can be processed by core image. Um, what you need to know is that core image actually works with recipes. So you basically you can change these recipes and and create a, a series of steps that you want to apply, a set of transformations that you want to apply to your image, and then hand that off to the GPU for processing. Uh, so you basically would construct this, and then you would kick the, you would kick the, um, the, um, uh, you would kick the process. So what we're gonna do now is, uh, once we have this image created, we need to create a. Um, we actually need to pull out uh, the results. So we're gonna do that by saying sepia filter output image. And um, and uh, now we need to create a rendering uh, context. This is all part of a. Uh, this is all part of a core image. Um, it's all in the documentation. And uh, let me create the CG image, um, a version of uh, uh, um, a version of this. So I'm gonna get. Um, I'm gonna basically extract this from output. And, um, and when it comes to the size, let's just use output.extent. So that should be good enough. Now, what I need to do is, once I have this, instead of sending the moment image to the original image, let's set it to the um, let's set it to this transform version of it. So, let's just say UI image from image uh, CG image. Okay, so that sounds about good. So basically, all I've done here is uh, create the filter, and then when I call the uh, the context create image, it runs the pipeline. This is when the actual uh, when the actual process is executed. So let's run this thing again and see if we got the desired effect here. Um, so we can get this little cat and now you can see that the cat is happy. So now we're ready to roll. Um, now the next thing to do is, uh, I've captured the moment, but now we wanna post this moment to the internet. Um, so I'm gonna do that here. So uh, share this moment. Maybe I should rename capture to the capture moment. Let, let's just call this share moment. <coughs> now with share moment, we're gonna use again a built-in iOS uh, controller, and, uh, and this is very simple. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the uh, we're gonna use a tweet controller. So I'm just gonna say uh, tweet compose view controller, and uh, and I'm gonna say tweet image equals um, oh, add image equals moment. Uh, that image. Uh, what else do we need here? Um, and then we need to do the same steps. Root view controller present uh, model view controller. Oh, we pass the tweet, not picker, and true. Now uh, we could be calling this with a null image. So let's let's uh, let's make sure that uh, 
that will catch that condition. We don't want this to ruin our reputation. We don't want to crash. We don't want a bad review. So let me just say, uh, let me create an alert. It's very simple. So what do we got? A title, liking, inspiration. And, uh, and then what we should do? A message. So you have not captured a moment yet. Please do. We're not going to pass anything for the delegate and the cancel button is um, should uh, probably be um, accept repent repent let's just repent is that it let me see is there any other parameters that we need uh, no that's it so now what we can do is we can show this we can say message dot show show that thing and just return so let's try this out let's see how this works uh, so let's share this moment it's like no nah, that's right that's good. Repent. So we're gonna take uh, this cat, and now we're gonna share this cat with the world. And uh, as you can see, that image has been here. So I'm, gonna, so I'm just gonna share this with a caption that says, uh, "Fluffy the cat, wandering life with the bee. Fluffy the cat, you know, fluffy the cat." Wondering life with Fluffy the Cat. And I'm gonna send this, now I'm gonna share this and you'll see it on my timeline. You know what, I'm gonna add my location. Uh, okay, and uh, and that's it really. So I'm just gonna send it and it's gonna be tweeted on my behalf. And uh, and I guess I must have activated the slow animations uh, hotkey while I was doing that. So that's it, that's how you create this thing. Now, uh, one thing that I didn't really get into is that uh, you know, if uh, if you switch from Enya to say um, to say some uh, uh, some techno music, uh, we could change this very quickly to instead of being a sepia tone, uh, we could change it to uh, something uh, nastier. Uh, so, for example, what would this be? Oh, inversion, and this will show you nicely. Um, it will show you nicely how you change this uh, this recipe. So, let me do an inversion here. So we're going to take the uh, output image. This is going to uh, invert the image. And here, instead of taking the sepia filter, we're going to take the inversion filter, the output of the inversion filter. So again, this creates a recipe. And you create this recipe by, uh, um, you create this recipe by chaining uh, these, uh, uh, these objects. And you'll see that this time when I select Fluffy the Cat, um, actually Fluffy the Cat is inverted. And it's an inverted version of the sepia. Um, we could also do it the other way around. Um, where you uh, so instead of doing this, we'll do uh, invert the output image, and uh, here instead of doing this, we're gonna do that. So, so let's just do that. So let's see what the difference is. What happens to Fluffy the cat if he listens to techno music? So I'm just gonna pick again the cat, and it's a lot nicer lot lot nicer so it really depends on the on the mood of the day and what you're trying to do but this is how you use montage dialogue uh, to quickly create a ui and the twitter apis and the core image apis and when in doubt just uh, go and cheat and cut and paste from the documentation uh, thank you